I'm a professional, eh? Right. Yeah. Now it's perfect. Because I, I adjusted it. Okay. <laughs> That's how that's how we're starting out the video. It's gonna be like just talking through. All right. Oh, look at that. It's red. It's not red. It's red. It's not red. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Uh, today I have an app called Tesla Mirror, and uh, it is on Android, and uh, it is also on Apple iPhone. So I have my buddy, Mark BSB, follow him on YouTube, link in the description, uh, who's gonna help me. So I have the Android version, I have the Apple version. Uh, basically what it's supposed to do is supposed to screen mirror your phone to the car display. And it's so supposed to be really good uh, based off how it works, uh, is what I'm told. So uh, full disclosure and disclaimer, I was given this and something I want to point out real quick, it does use a VPN on your phone, which means they can see the traffic that is sent and received. I did do some tests trying to figure out where the data was being sent to and from. Uh, I could not figure it out. I also know that it does work without a data connection, so I'm not entirely sure, or without any type of internet connection. So I'm not entirely sure if data is being sent back and forth, but I thought I'd throw this into the beginning of the video before we tested it out, uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, don't send and receive data uh, that you want to keep private 100% if you are using this because you're not. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but let's give it a try and let's see how well it works. So do you want to try the Apple first? Sure. Go to the Wi-Fi settings. So basically the way it works is you have to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot from your phone. Uh, you want to connect your car to the same Wi-Fi hotspot uh, and then you're going to start the app on the phone and you're gonna to go to the web browser and type in the address that it gives you. Uh, so right now, as we speak, Mark is setting up his Wi-Fi hotspot. It's kind of crappy on Mars. Oh, I got it working. Test the mirror, open that up. And this is the address it's giving me. Have you had, so you've had this for a few weeks now. Have you had success? Yeah. Um, I've had more issues than success. Twice it's worked, the other seven times it did not. Okay. So we go two, four, zip. You're on there. And yeah, we have, if you, okay. So here's the other thing too. When I notice when it works, I see this. When it fails, you don't see that. So there's another thing. So if you don't see this little refresh, refresh yeah. it means it's not working for you. Okay. So how do we see your phone now though? Because I'm an idiot. You have to push the start button here. Mark, 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 Mark. You can edit all that out. No, we're keeping it in. This is unedited. You guys can see. Hey, okay. Hey, you see? It was the idiot over here why it didn't work. That's actually really smooth. Yeah, it's pretty fast. But again, you see, so you can make this bigger. So much for it being fast. How much bigger do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> but you but you see then you lose retail space on it for a minute behind yeah so let's get rid of this iphone business i honestly i think it's uh an iphone problem um i'm gonna prove it right here so anytime you see free wi-fi uh the pastors obviously subscribe so if you're not doing that make sure you are subscribed right now Go down and click that subscribe button. Nice. Uh, so now I'm going to open it up on my screen and you're going to see the difference. It's going to work. Um, I'm going to hit start because, you know, you want to start it, Mark. We're not editing that out. And now at the top, we can type three uh, dot three dot three. And they give you the address uh, at the bottom here. You can see it on my phone. So they give you the exact address to type in. So one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, and three. the other thing to note, it'll always be the same. So from your phone, it'll always be that address. So you never have to worry about it. Um, and look at that. There is my Android device. And just to show oh, Mark wow. that it can flip. And I want to see how responsive it is. So we're going to like load this up real quick. A nice quick game on my phone. Just because, you know. That's actually really fast. Like you can see yeah, this. Uh, let's hold on that side. 
Uh, sure, let's just do like a quick... And for reference too, I have the iPhone 11. So it's not like it's a super old phone. Like that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm pretty positive I can watch a video. Actually, let's get out of this. Let's go watch a video. That's really fast. That's really cool. The audio will play through, but my phone is not connected because we're actually in Mark's car right now. So it won't work uh, because my audio won't play. But if your audio was hooked up, you can hit phone under your audio settings and you can actually play the audio. But you can see this is an actual YouTube video that's playing through the web browser. And it's pretty like responsive. Yeah. There's almost no delay. And because it is a, and I'm not saying to do this, uh, and hopefully no one says that in the comments, uh, but you can actually put your car into drive or reverse right now and the video will still keep playing because it's through the web browser. So this is not connected. Just to show. Just to show you. We're, we're like literally we're parked in my driveway. So, uh, but it, it's important to note that like this is really, really responsive. So when it works, it's great. And you can also zoom in. So if you want to see like just that portion of my video, you can. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm very impressed. But... Like we showed you before, there was some problems with the iPhone hiccups. version. Yeah. Some hiccups. We're trying out Mark's iPhone again. And you can put it on anything. If yours is here. Yeah, no, go watch. Yeah, go for it. So we're, we're noticing that there's a bigger delay on the iPhone than there is the Android for whatever reason. It's still responsive, don't yeah, get me wrong. See, like so I'm pulling down, but it's taking, watch, one, two, no, it's already done, look, it's already lost the connection. Yeah, you lost your connection See? already. After a minute, it's like. Yeah, there's like a minute trial. Yeah. Yeah, so it does work, but then like it dies and you hit the refresh button, you'd think. So it's almost like I have to reconnect. Yeah. So, so far, no luck with uh, Apple. Yeah, it's weird. But and once I go back to here, right? Like, weird. See? Yeah. Is that ready to? But once I go back to the screen, then it's working. It again. works. Hmm. But, but you can't actually but, open up see? anything. So there's definitely a flaw or something with iPhone. Yeah. That's disappointing. And I did delete it. Look, so, okay, now it's working. Yeah. So I get rid of that. Okay, that works. As soon as I open this, it's working. But you can't but now like I can't. You can't See? go to anything else because yeah. it won't update. Yeah. Interesting. That's that's too bad because I had a lot of hope. Yeah. Like it works. You saw how well it works with mine. Oh. We also noticed something else. There's settings. So in the top right, I have options here, and hopefully you can pick it up. So I have resolution as one setting, and you can actually change it from 360, 540, and 720. Uh, you can limit your frames per second, image quality, and you can also decide your server port. So I get the option of everything. Whereas Mark's iPhone has HD mode and it's just a toggle on or off. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this type of app. Is it something that's interesting to you? I think something like this is useful for Waze, especially how responsive it is. Yeah. It's great. Because you can like just throw your phone down below and I'm going to like... He's gonna kill me. He's a, this was already done by Franklin before. You can just throw your phone down below and you can have Waze running like perfectly, like actually yeah. Waze. So it's pretty cool, I like it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any really interesting use cases that we haven't thought of. And uh, well, we didn't really think of many. But anyway, like the video, <laughs> subscribe for more content, uh, high quality test of content. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Mark, any last words? <laughs> any last words? <laughs> Don't forget, like and subscribe, Mother Frunker, out.